Hello, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. I've got a few comments uh, to add about uh, the cake. Uh, first, uh, let's start off with uh, the ingredients and then the specificity of the cake. And then we'll talk about uh, things to avoid in order to make the cake successful. The ingredients. So as you can see, the first thing you can notice is that it doesn't need sugar. It doesn't need sugar because the chestnut cream uh, already has high content of sugar. So you don't need to add any sugar. And the second thing is that uh, it's dairy free. If, but if you want to, you can replace the coconut butter by uh, regular butter. You just have to need to add 10 grams more. And the reason why is because uh, butter has about 50% of water and coconut oil has zero water. It's gluten free. But actually you can replace the uh, rice flour and cornstarch by just regular flour. You would just uh, put 50 grams of regular flour, if possible, cake flour instead of the cornstarch and the rice flour. Now, just a few comments about the specificity of the cake. The, the cake is actually not too difficult to make. As you can see, it's, it's just you, you mix up the ingredients and then you, you bake in the oven and that's it. But actually, it's not just a simple chocolate cake. It has actually three kinds of texture. The outside layer is a kind of a crust dry crust sort of um, texture. And then you have the edge. The edge is like kind of a cakey-ish um, texture. And then you can see in the center, it's like pretty ganache-ish kind of a um, feeling, kind of a texture, pretty moist, very moist. I keep saying uh, ganache, uh, ganache uh, texture, but actually uh, if you guys are, if you're French, uh, we say uh, un coeur fondant. That's, uh, that's the proper way to say it. I'm not sure how to say it in English though. So I say, I keep saying ganache. But anyways, that's, that's the trick about this cake is, is that it has three textures in one cake. And that's why it's, it's so good. Especially if you really like chocolate and if you're a chocolate lover, that's a really good one. Which brings us to the next section, which is tips and things to focus on in order to make this recipe unfailable. Actually, the only trick is the cooking time, the baking time. In my oven, uh, I'd say it's between 25 minutes and 28 minutes. First thing, it's really important that you uh, preheat the oven at 200 degrees. By doing so, you are caramelizing uh, the outside of the cake, which will give the cake a very nice crust, thin crust. As soon as you put the cake in the oven, you have to lower the temperature right away at 170 degrees so that it doesn't overcook the cake and that the center of the cake remains smooth. I would say start with 25 minutes and then every minute check with the knife. The knife has to come off with some chocolate on it. If the knife comes off clean, that's overcooked. If the cake doesn't come out like the way you like, it's most likely because of the cooking time that was either undercooked or overcooked. Just three or four minutes, that window. It's very tight, very tight. So that's it for today. I hope you, you like the, that recipe. That was my uh, first uh, video uh, of uh, this uh, very new channel. If you liked it, please subscribe and uh, comment and this blah 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 or you know, you know all that jazz. I've been cooking for about eight years now, but um, uh, so um, I, I thought that starting with a simple-ish cake. If you're also a runner, please check my other channel, uh, Science Fit, because I'm also a runner. And uh, if you have any questions, please write it down on the section below and until next time have a good cake don't eat too much and be healthy see you